What's going on guys? Welcome back to another build video. In today's video I bring you my Euphoria Twin Blade build. Uh, this is a Twin Blade that you'll get towards the end of the game in the final dungeon of the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. But it is worth it because once you find this weapon, uh, it's hard to get away from. So without further ado, let's get right into the build. Alright, so first things first as always, we are using the new Euphoria twin blade this is a holy twin blade that has a really cool ash of war and it has a kind of like a two-part ash of war it does a spinning slash um you know in front of you but once you charge it up after dealing damage and killing enemies you can release it again and it deals like a beam of holy damage we're pairing that with the earth tree seal because i put a lot of points into faith for the holy damage so we can cast some uh holy um have the tree sentinel uh helmet chest and gauntlets but i have the lindell soldier greaves still give that gold look but also give us that medium load now as for the talismans i have the rotten wing sword insignia the dragon great shield and the sacred scorpion charm and the shard of alexander as for the flask of wonders physic i have the holy shroud and crack tier along with the green burst crystal tier uh, because we will be doing a lot of attacks and, you know, doing the Ash of War does chew through the stamina quite a bit. So I have the Green Burst Crystal Tier uh, to kind of replace the two-headed Turtle Talisman uh, in that regard. Now, as for the stats, I have 60 Vigor, 25 Mind, 30 Endurance, 29 Strength, 6, 30 Dex, 16 Intelligence, 80 Faith, and 9 Arcane. Now, the reason why I have so much Faith is that way I can cast spells as well. Um, but we also want to deal more holy damage, and it also has a split scaling between dex and strength. Um, but this is... Now, as for the summon, of course, using the Divine Bird Warrior Ornus on this one. This, Like I said, this guy is absolutely a tank, and he, you know, he's just an awesome uh, summon. And of course, as for the Great Runes, I'm using Radon's Great Rune, because uh, it gives you a percentage buff into HP, FP, and Stamina. Since we're kind of specking into one uh, stat here. Alright, and as for the spells, I have the Golden Vow, Flame Grant Me Strength, Black Flame's Protection to give us more damage negation. I have Multi-Layered Ring of Light. This this spell is absolutely freaking awesome. It's like a long-range, you know, holy snipe. And it can and it just kind of stays there. And you can charge it for have like a bigger disc. Um, I have Minor Erd Tree on here um, just for funsies. Uh, you know, you kind of stand near it and get some healing. Uh, really cool for co-op. But you can swap it out for like Lord's Heal or something like that. Um, and then I got two pretty much, you know, like bomb spells. I have Elden Stars and then the Light of Mikola, which is obtained from defeating Radon at the end of the uh, DLC. So... You can swap it out for something else, but I just absolutely love the look of this. And I'm going to show you guys here in a second what this looks like. So this is the spell. You kind of like float in the air, and then you do like a giant holy nuke. And then afterwards, you'll see like these pillars of light up in the top right there. Um, you know, that uh, pretty much do like more holy damage. And this is the Ash of War for the blade. So as you see, I'm dealing damage to this hand. And then you'll see the blades light up. Um, so now they're like, you know, golden here. And if I activate the Ash of War, it summons like a beam of light. Um, and now you see I just wiped out like, you know, four or five hands there. Now this is the regular Ash of War. So if you just do it without it charged, uh, it just does the vortex uh, just, you know, on yourself. But once it's charged up, it does a beam of holy damage, which is absolutely awesome. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the boss gameplay.
And there you guys have it. That is my Holy Euphoria Twin Blade build here in Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel as I got more builds coming your way. And I absolutely, you know, got tons of different ideas. But if you guys have any ideas, please drop them down in the comments below. I'd be curious to uh, know what you guys wanted to see. And I'll be happy to, you know, put it together for you. I will be trying to go into New Game Plus here soon, uh, to that way I can get some more items and also show off some different bosses other than the uh, the Dancing Lion there. But, um, with all that out of the way, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video. Deuces.